how did you motivate yourself for those that might be in rehab at the moment and doing a lot of training by themselves and they're out of the group? Maybe that they could benefit from from ways you um, motivate yourself to get the work done. I think, yeah, the, I think the main thing for me was, well, obviously, you know, I had school at the time, so I had something else to um, distract me a little bit. But I think, yeah, you know, if you're striving, striving to play at the highest level, I think you just got to keep your eyes on the bigger picture. And, um, you know, I guess, I guess the whole COVID thing, you know, for some, for some probably would have been, you know, really, really hard. But I think others, you know, probably might have enjoyed that little bit of downtime and stuff with family. But, um, yeah, obviously, I think, yeah, what motivated me was just a bigger picture. I think, um, you know, if there's, there's, you know, I, you can teach yourself a lesson or two, um, you know, whether you, you can be a person who sits back and, you know, says it's too hard or you can be someone who just keeps keeps really striving to, you know, uh, reach that main goal. Can you take us through what a typical week looks like starting from Monday going into into the weekend? Yeah, so, um, yeah, it all depends on um, what day we played. So, um, last week we played on Good Friday, so uh, training was only Monday and Wednesday. Um, so, uh, Monday being a main session um, and then Wednesday sort of being um, like a sort of captain's uh, run sort of thing. Um, however, this week looks a bit different. Uh, playing on Saturday around about midday, so we've got light skill session uh, tonight. Then tomorrow night we'll jump into a main session and then uh, Thursday will just be a little top-up session, um, you know, just a bit of team bonding stuff before the weekend. So, um, yeah, we'll, we'll uh, kick into that. And, yeah, that's what a week looks like for me. You've been able to keep up your speed, which you mentioned is one of your strengths. Um, was that a focus of yours in the off-season, pre-season? I know you wanted to put on weight, but did you, did, did you put a lot of good energy into your, your conditioning side of things as well? Yeah, absolutely. I think, um, yeah, I was speaking to some people, you know, put it, you had to be really smart about the way that I was putting on weight because, um, you know, obviously I didn't want to put on weight and, you know, lose some of my endurance and speed, which um, I consider to be my weapons in football. So, um, yeah, obviously, you know, speaking with the right people and having the having some great resources around me um, allowed me to do so. And, um, yeah, I think, you know, obviously with your programs and, um, the gym programs that we've got at Nord as well, um, like I said, full body stuff and, um, yeah, a lot of the conditioning and stuff we did during the summer was, um, yeah, pretty high intensity and uh, a lot of it. So, um, yeah, I was pretty fortunate and obviously, yeah, like I mentioned, having good resources around me allowed me to put on muscle the right way and uh, also maintain my speed and endurance as well. You mentioned nutrition change and how you didn't change too much of what you were eating, but you just ate more. How did you go about that? Did you add a couple of snacks to it or did you just eat bigger portion sizes for those trying um, to put put on weight and um, you've had a successful result with it? Um, yep. Yeah. What, what did you change there? Um, yeah, I think, yeah, like, like you just touched on, it's not, it wasn't so much what I was eating. I think it was, um, yeah, just trying to eat a lot more than what I was and, um, yeah, it doesn't necessarily have to be massive portions. Um, so I think, yeah, I was eating, you know, a bit of chicken and rice at, say, 10 o'clock, um, obviously breakfast before that. Uh, so then, yes, that at 10 o'clock and then um, big lunch at uh, lunchtime and then uh, something small <clears throat> before training, um, you know, whether that was like a protein shake or um, just a few snacks or something like that. Um, and then, yeah, obviously maybe a protein shake after footy and then, yeah, home for dinner. So, um, yeah, not, nothing too much obviously changed. Yeah, like I wasn't, wasn't necessarily eating a lot of, a lot of bad stuff. It just really, really needed to get what I was eating, just needed to get more of it. So, um, yeah, that was sort of the changes I made um, in terms of my diet. And what about um, the mental side of preparation? Are there things that you do during the week, during a game week that help you um, get your mindset right? Um, not so much. I think, um, being involved in, uh, the SA Talent Hub at the beginning of the year, we, um, yeah, we, we did a bit of mindfulness, um, in them programs and, um, yeah, I think I find they, that really, really helped me and, um, you know, helps, I think it <clears throat> helps you clear your head of any outside sort of distractions, um, you know, coming into a game if, if you know if you're a bit worried about anything else, or you know your mind's somewhere else and not on the game, um, and you know you want to try something like mindfulness, I think I've found that that really really helps. Um, and yeah, I think yeah, come game day you're just ready to go out and play your role and do the best you can, and um, without any sort of outside distractions. So I think um, yeah, that's something that 
definitely want to <clears throat> definitely want to do more of and um yeah incorporate more into my probably weekly preparation uh, coming up to a game 